Hello from Brussels. I'm Mark Watts from LP Brussels. And this week, we're going to take a deep dive into the European Commission's new strategy for sustainable and smart mobility. But before we do that, let's go back to April last year. Five years. Well, I think we're likely to see a new uh, transport white paper, last produced in 2011, desperately needs updating, not least because there are two new priorities, decarbonisation and digitalisation. I think they will feature uh, high on the agenda for the next European Commission and we'll see more. So I'm delighted that the European Commission has indeed brought forward a proposal to update the 2011 white paper and address those twin challenges of decarbonisation and digitalisation. We've had a look at the 25 page strategy and the five page annex that accompanies it, outlining the 82 concrete measures that they will be taking over the next two or three years. But we've also taken a look at the 290 page staff working document that lies behind it. We've reached six conclusions and we'd like to share them now with you in this short film. found that interesting and useful please contact us if you would like to learn more or you have ideas and solutions that you would like us to help you disseminate love to hear what you think about that sixth point do we need european level fair and efficient pricing making the polluter pay in order to finance this massively ambitious program let us know what you think thanks for watching and stay safe